Today we've got the MS Fun Run where my sister, myself and a few other friends are, are running. It's important that everyone exercises and does these type of things for a good cause. I think sport is a real leveller. In all sports you can have a really high moment but then all of a sudden you could be out for a golden duck the next day. It brings you back to earth and, and that's what I enjoy about sport and I think that's what the Australian public love as well. I was born in India and then moved straight away to America and then Kenya and then Australia. I was adopted when I was three weeks old and my parents had an older girl so they wanted another child and I think one of the nurses said, oh well, I know you're looking for a boy but there's this little girl and mum said she fell in love with me straight away. So probably no surprise that I'm playing cricket, you know, a typical male sport. My father's Indian, born in Bombay. My mother was uh, white English, so being a little girl on an Indian passport makes it quite difficult to travel the world. So we came here to get my citizenship and I think the story goes, us three girls kind of said, no, I think we want to stay here. This is the place to live. Sport is a massive part of Australian culture, whether you're going to the beach and doing things or out in the park running around. So it allowed me to, I think, fit in and feel a lot more comfortable in school, whereas I know other people who weren't good at sport and who immigrated to Australia found it difficult. My father first introduced me to the game and said, oh, I've joined you in the local boys team, and I'm like, oh, no. And then the year that I finished school, I then made the, the New South Wales Opens women's team. 2005 was my first World Cup experience. It was over in South Africa. We played India in the final and I was fortunate enough to be involved in a really big partnership. Pretty special moment to be part of that team and to walk away with the trophy. When I first walk out, of course there's a certain level of nerves, but once I'm out there and start my routine, really cricket is about who's got the smartest brain, who can keep their nerves under control, who can execute the skills under pressure. When I started attending uni, my mother was diagnosed with secondary cancer. My days consisted of going to uni, taking mum to the hospital, going to training. It was difficult to see my mother deteriorate. I gave her a bit of a whack sometimes when I wasn't in a great mood. So I could almost forget what was going on back at home and come to cricket and just focus on becoming a better cricketer. My father's been a mentor from way to go and I have a lot of similar traits to him even though I'm adopted. Anything that I did with my father was competitive and that's where I got it from and let's just say I, I don't do things for fun, I do things so that I win. Of course, I had to beat a four year old. My nephew now is at an age where you can have decent conversations with him and we're such a small family that having another personality is exciting and being around a little kid makes you realise that life isn't too bad sometimes, it puts things in perspective. I'm a city girl through and through and in this household we tend to cook up a big meal and enjoy a glass of wine. Especially if we've got friends over, we'll sit around and play a board game because most of my friends have got that competitive spirit as well. Well, I love Sydney. I love the harbour. I love what is on offer here in Sydney. And I'm an Aussie girl through and through, so I'll always settle here. But the main thing is the fact that, you know, I went out and did the Australian things. I, you know, I went out and played cricket went to the beach. I'm not a strong swimmer, but you know, I enjoyed the beach and you know, I made sure that I had friends that weren't Indian or that I was embracing every part of Australia. And as long as you do that, of course, celebrate your culture and the diversity that you bring to this country, but make sure that you, you taste what's Australian as well.